Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Once again, welcome to Das Say the Lord programs. Ito ang sabi ng Panginoon. Das Say the Lord. Ito ang sabi ng Panginoon. Watch and listen. Pakinggan at panuurin. Like, share, and subscribe. KOJF Church YouTube Channel. KOJF Church YouTube Channel. Like, share, and subscribe. And Kingdom of Jesus Fellowship International Facebook fan page. Kingdom of Jesus Fellowship International Facebook fan page. Watch and listen. Like, share, and subscribe. Reshare it. Repost it. And send the videos to your loved ones, friends, and relatives. So, purihin ang pangalan ng Panginoon sa lahat ng mga nakikinig at sa lahat ng mga nanunood. I please get your Bible and uh, in just a short while, we will uh, start at uh, Get your notebook and pen and jot down the wonderful, great revelation of God. Hallelujah. So, puri ng pangalan ng Panginoon. So, ihanda na po ha, yung inyo pong mga Biblia. Ihanda na po yung inyong mga notebook at ang inyong mga ball pen. At upang sa ganoon ay inyo pong uh, ilista ang mga mga magagandang kapahayagan ng Panginoon sa oras na ito. Glory to God. So, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, before uh, we pray, bago tayo manalangin, mga kapatid, ay siguraduhin pong nandyan na po ang inyong mga Biblia sa inyong pong mga Harapan, ano po? <laughs> Siyempre naman, hindi sa likuran. Glory to God. At ang inyong mga notebook. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. So, ready na tayo mga minamahal. Get ready in just a, a short while. We are about uh, to begin. Praise the Lord. So, glory to God. So, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, this is the day that the Lord has made. And we have to rejoice and be glad in it. Tunay nga po na ito po yung araw na Binigay sa atin ng Panginoon at tayo maglak sapagkat muli ay dakilang bagay ang gagawin ng Panginoon sa oras na ito. Truly, something great is going to happen in this very hour. Truly, this is the day of uh, salvation. This is the day of healing and uh, miracle. This is the day of success, blessing, promotion, and uh, prosperity. Thank you, Jesus. Ganun ang Panginoon eh. Lagi siyang may mga nakahandang uh, mga pagpapala sa atin, no? Meron siya palaging, uh, the Lord has uh, full of surprises for all of us. Has full of wonderful uh, uh, rewards for all of us. Glory to God. Ganun ang ating Panginoon. Kaya po, thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. So in just a short while, ha, we are going uh, to study the word of the Lord and uh, be sure that your Bible is uh, with you, brethren. Be sure. Glory to God and uh, praise the Lord. And uh, be sure to obey our superior. That is the, the title. Be sure to obey our superior. Siguraduhin natin yung uh, nakatataas sa atin. Nakatanda, nakakatanda sa atin mga leader natin those people over us no be sure to obey our superior our leaders those uh, 
people over us. Glory to God. Glory to God. Ay, talaga naman kapag uh, ginawa natin yung mga bagay na iyan eh, praise the Lord eh, talagang uh, God has uh, something great for all of us as we uh, obey our leaders, obey surely our leaders. Yan. Ganun yun eh. Yung pag sinabi mong sure, ano yun eh? Sigurado. <laughs> Sigurado. Kasi marami ay hindi talaga sigurado eh. Yung kanilang mga pagsunod, no? Hindi talaga yung mga inutos sa kanila ay hindi naman talaga iyon mga minamahal. Naunawaan po natin. Yung iba hindi kasi naman talaga nakakasunod kasi <laughs> hindi naman nakikinig eh. At saka wala naman din kasi talagang planong sumunod eh. Kaya, you know, what we have to study this day is surely will, will bring us uh, to heaven and uh, will surely, glory to God, bring us to our real blessing from the Lord. Yung talagang tutunay talaga na pagpapala mula sa Panginoon. You know, brethren, there are false blessings and there are false miracles and there are false rewards. And uh, sometimes we can uh, receive or we enjoy the false blessings and the false miracles and false promotions of God. But, uh, you know, in the end, we will suffer and uh, it won't last. And in the end, uh, we will suffer and uh, we will uh, face the consequences. Naunawaan po ba natin mga minamahal? Kaya ano po yung magandang pamagat natin sa oras na ito? Be sure to obey our superior. Superior is, uh, it means uh, the leader over us. The, the parent, something like that. Those people over us. Yan, yung mga tao pong nasa ibabaw po natin. Yes po natin, mga minamahal. So, tayo na po ay manalangin na. Shall we bow down our heads and close our eyes? Shall we lift our both hands to Jesus? Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, lumalapit na naman po kami sa iyo, Panginoon. With a humble heart, we come to you. Umaasa, Panginoon, expecting something great from you. At alam namin, Panginoon, hindi niyo po kami bibiguin. Truly, O oh God, our listening, our uh, viewing uh, this day, as we watch uh, this day, Lord, this will not be put in vain. Hindi po masasayang lahat po, Panginoon, ang aming pagbibigay ng oras sa iyo. Truly, O oh Lord, as we offer this very hour to you, Padre God, as we seek first your, as we seek first your kingdom, and your righteousness, and Father God, all our needs will be given to us as well. Tunay nga po, Panginoon, higit pa ho sa aming mga inaasahan ang inyo pong ibibigay. Cleanse our hearts with your holy blood, and make us worthy in your sight, Panginoon. Tunay nga po, Ama, sa ganang sarili namin, wala kaming magagawa. So apart from you, we can do nothing. So we need the cleansing power of your blood. And we need the anointing of the Holy Spirit in this very hour. Panginoong Diyos, we bring back to you all the glory. We just want to say thank you in advance. Lahat po, Panginoon, ng kalubalatian ay kunin niyo po. At ngayon pa lamang po yung nagpapasalamat na po kami, Panginoon. Because truly, great things will happen to us in this very hour. Thank you, Jesus. We bring back to you all the glory in your mighty name. Amen. Palakpakan natin ng malakas ang Panginoon. Palakpakan natin ng malakas ang Panginoon. Hallelujah! <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So, sa mga uh, excited na pong uh, at ready-ready na po na 
makinig ang salita ng Panginoon ay buksan po natin mga minamahal sa aklat po ng uh, Titus uh, chapter 1 uh, verse 5. Titus 1 verse 5. Shall we open our Bible? In the book of Titus 1 verse 5. Ang ganda-ganda po nito. This is just a short message. No? Napakaikli lamang po nito mga minamahal. So atin pong uh, buksan yung ating mga banal na kasulatan. Titus 1.5 yan. Bago ko buksan yung aking Biblia, ay ihanda ko yung aking uh, uh, outline. Nandito yung aking outline. Yan. Praise the Lord. Titus 1.5 I am reading from the New International Version. The old version of the New International Version. New International Version. Of course, old version. <laughs> Because nowadays, there are new versions of the new international version. But sad to say, many versions nowadays are many words and verses, verses are being deleted. No? Yun ang malungkot, no? Sa panahon ngayon. Alam nyo, you know, the Bible is not, uh, has no error. It is infallible. Wala pong mali ang Biblia. Wala po. Kung meron naman yung tinatawag nating typographical error. If there is an error in the Bible, that is a type typographical error. But the Bible has no error and it is infallible. And uh, many, uh, I could say that uh, agents of Satan, no, many agents of Satan deleted some verses, some uh, chapters, remove some verses and some chapters and uh, added some words and chapters and books and replace some words and praise from the original Bible. Yun, yun ang may mga ahente, si Satanas eh, na may mga inalis, dinagdag, binago, pinalitan. Sa totoong Biblia, praise the Lord. Pero itong ginagamit ko, luma na ito eh. The old uh, New International Version, the old version of the New International Version, I believe this is complete. Glory to God. So, shall we read our Bible in the book of Titus chapter 1, verse 5? Titus chapter 1, verse 5. Titus chapter 1, verse 5. But first and foremost, no? Let us, uh, be, uh, uh, after I read uh, this uh, Titus 1, 5, uh, so first and foremost, let us uh, study who is the author. And who is uh, the one uh, being uh, instructed or commanded? Sino ba ang, uh, ang, ang uh, nag-uutos dito? Nagsasalita? Kanino ba itong aklat? Sino ba ang sinulatan? Sino ba ang sinabihan? Sino ba ang binabaan ng mga uh, kautusan? In the book of Titus chapter 1 verse 5 it says, The reason, say it, the reason, ang dahilan. So may dahilan ha? Tandaan mo, may dahilan. I left you in Crete was that you might straighten out what was left unfinished and appoint elders in every town as I directed you. Pakasabi, directed. Yeah, yan. Ang liwanag po, no, yung word na the reason at yung word na directed. Maliwanag na maliwanag po yan. Ang dahilan, yan, kung bakit kita iniwan sa Crete, no, ay upang pagtibayin pa, ituloy, yung mga mga bagay-bagay na mga ginawa ko na hindi pa natatapos. Yan. Ikaw ay mag-appoint ng mga matatanda sa bawat uh, taon na uh, nakagaya ng aking binilin sa iyo, sinabi sa iyo, inuto sa iyo. So ang liwanag po, mga minamahal. So there was a reason, there is a reason why God brought Paul brought Titus, brought uh, the reason why God brought Titus by Paul in Crete. Naunawaan po natin, there is a reason why God or why Paul, according to God's command, brought Titus in Crete. May dahilan ha, may dahilan kung bakit pinadala, iniwan, sinama ni Pablo Isinugo ni Pablo si Titus sa Crete. May dahilan. Pakisabi po, may dahilan. Yun. <laughs> Naunawaan po natin yun, ha? Alam ho ninyo kasi ang kinakailangan talaga, 
eh, makinig talaga eh. O, alam nyo kung bakit maraming din nakakasunod ng instruction, ay ayaw naman talagang makinig. At, uh, at uh, kahit na binibigyan mo ng, ng instruction, iba pa rin ang ginagawa. Yes, many, are, many don't want to listen to God's instruction or to, to any instruction. And uh, even the, there are clear instructions, clear instructions, and yet, many, truly many are disobedient. Yun, naunawaan po natin. Yung iba kasi hindi nakikinig. Pero iba, napakinggan naman. Kaya lang, pinipilit yung gusto eh. Pag ayaw, napakaraming dahilan. Pero pag gusto, may paraan. Yeah, if there is a will, if want to obey, then there is a way. If one uh, to disobey, if a person wants to dis if, if if a person wants to obey, so there is a way. There is a will, there is a way. If if a person wants to disobey, <laughs> so many reasons, so many ju justifies to disobey. In the book of chapter 1 uh, verse 1 of uh, Titus, Titus 1:1, 1, 1, Paul a servant of God and an apostle of Jesus Christ. Truly Paul is a servant of God. But he is not just an ordinary servant of God. Like all of us, Christians, all, all Christians are all servants of God. Tayo pong lahat ay mga lingkod ng Diyos, mga alagad ng Diyos, mga alipin ng Diyos. Pero iba si Pablo. As a servant of God, he is an apostle. A special messenger. Truly we are all messengers of God. But Paul is a special messenger. Yan. Paul, a servant of God and an apostle of Jesus Christ, for the faith of God's elect and the knowledge of the truth that leads to godliness. Yan. Paul, a servant of God and an apostle of Jesus Christ, for the faith of God's elect and the knowledge of the truth that leads to godliness. Verse 4, verse 4. To Titus, my true son, in our common faith. To Titus, my true son, in our common faith. Kay, kay, kay Tito, na aking tunay na anak, na meron kaming parehong pananampalataya. Parehong damdamin, parehong kaisipan. Pareho. We are united. Yan ang hinihingi ng Panginoon eh. Na maging kaisya ka ng mabuting layunin ng nanay mo at tatay mo. Maging makaisa ka ng mabuting layunin ng gobyerno. Huwag lang yung ipamigay yung China, hindi magandang layunin yan. O I mean, huwag lang ipamigay yung Spratly Island. Yung pinamimigay yung Spratly Island at hindi pinaglalaban na takot sa China. At pinamimigay ang Kalayaan Island. No? Yung Kalayaan Group of Islands. Yung mga our, uh, our islands, our territories in the West Philippine Sea. No? You know not fighting for it, allowing China to stall it, to invade our territories, you know, it is not a mark of a true leader. I tell you. It is not God's command. It is not God's mandate. I tell you. Naunawaan po ba natin? Yung pong mga, ang pinag-aaralan kasi natin, dapat masunurin ka eh, sa mga nasa ibabaw mo eh. Pero yung leader mo na hindi pinaglalaban yung mga lupain natin sa China Sea, o I mean sa West Philippine Sea, na China Sea, West Philippine Sea, eh, under yan ang ating, ano eh, territory, kalapit-lapit yan sa atin, sa international law, nanalo tayo riyan eh, nagbunyi tayo dyan eh, tapos hindi ipaglalaban ng sino mang leader, ipamimigay na lang, at tatawagin ng China na good friend, o oh may gulay. No, you know, China is a, not a good friend. They are stealing our uh, islands in the West, Pelip West Philippine Sea. And uh, the mark of a true leader mandated by God will fight for our uh, uh, sovereignty, for our uh, properties. Yung ating kasarinlan, yung ating kalayaan, yung ating mga pag-aari dapat pinaglalaban. Nakuha po ba natin mga minamahal? So, pag sinabi kasi nating superior, if we will say superior, you know, it, uh, it has uh, many meaning. Those leaders over us, leaders in the church, leaders in the government, leaders in the home, leaders, those who are uh, over us, our superior. 
Naunawaan po ba natin? Pero nililiwanag ko na yun sa maigling uh, aral na ito. <laughs> Kaya kung ang leader ng bansa natin eh, at naduduwag at sasabihin, Gera! Gera! Matatalo tayo sa gera! Eh hindi naman tayo nakikipag eh. You know, we are not declaring war against China. We are just insisting our right that the islands in the West Philippine Sea are owned by the Philippines. We are not declaring war. You know, many small countries, little countries, like Indonesia, Vietnam, and so many small countries are, 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 are insisting their rights, not afraid of China, even Taiwan. Is not afraid of China. And yet, oh, uh, you know, leaders that are not uh, fighting for our island and allowing uh, the China government to install our uh, islands and uh, declaring that China is a good friend. Oh, oh my gulay. <laughs> Nawanawaan po ba natin mga minamahal? <laughs> Makinig po tayong maigi. Masarap po na ang mga leader ay naririnig ang tinig ng Lord at sumusunod sa Diyos. Yes. It's nice to see a leader that are truly commanded, mandated by God, receive instruction from the Lord, receive a revelation from the Lord, anointed by God. Born from the heart of God, sent by God, no, and these uh, leaders, we must be one uh, with that leader. We must be united with that leader. Yeah, napakasarap kasi na yung talagang taga panguna ay talagang ang Dios talaga ang naglagay at uh, talagang ang sarap makipag-isa sa kanila. An apostle Paul is an apostle. Coming from the heart of God, born from the heart of God, handpicked by God, chosen by God. And Apostle Paul was uh, sent by God. Hallelujah. But particularly for the Gentiles. Yeah, for the Gentiles. Yeah, para sa mga hintil. Kasama na puro ng Pilipinas. Gentile nations means all the non-Jews. All the non-Jews. Israel And all nations are Gentile nations. Israel is Israel. But aside from Israel, all nations are all Gentile nations or heathen nations. Maliwanag ba yun? Israel ha? Ihiwalay mo ang Israel. Alisin mo ang Israel. Pilipinas at lahat ng bansa sa buong mundo, Gentile nations yan. Hintil yan. Heathen kung tawagin din. Naunawaan po ba natin? So yun yun. So ngayon, ituloy po natin yung pagbasa, mga minamahal. Yung verse 5, no? The reason I left you in Crete was that you might straighten out what was left unfinished and appoint elders in every town as I directed you. So merong dahilan ng pagkakatalaga kay Tito sa lugar ng Crete. Very, very clear yan, ha? Si Pablo ay nagtalaga kay, kay Titos sa lugar ng Crete. Pin, ala, ala, sinabi niya ang dahilan at uh, may mga binilin siya na unawaan po ba natin at yan po ang diin ko si nanay, si tatay may mabuting bilin eh hindi masamang bilin ha hindi ka pinabili ng sigarilyo pinagbili ng alak, pinaghubad ka pinagprostitute uh, ka hindi ka pinagbarumbado o oh. you know Your, your, your parents has uh, good commands to you, good instructions to you. Not bad. Not to, to, for you to smoke, to become a drunk hard man and woman, to become im immoral. No? If, if, if your parents has good command instructions for you, then you have to obey it. If your teachers have good command instructions for you, you have to, to obey it. If the governments, any government here on earth, have, a, have good commands, have good instructions, we have to obey it. But for me, giving up Spratly Island and Kalayaan Islands, our islands in the West Philippine Sea, to China, allowing China to install it, it is not from God. It is not from God. 
Very, very clear. Naunawaan po ba natin? Lahat po ng mga mabubuting uh, sasabihin po ng gobyerno ay sundin natin. Lahat ng mabubuting sinasabi ng mga magulang. Lahat ng mabubuting sinasabi ng mga guro. And all the church leaders, all good instruction, all good commands, not negative, will not harm us, will not destroy us, will not send us to hell. Any good commands, any good instructions coming from our superiors, we must obey it. Be sure to obey it. Naunawaan po ba natin? Kaya ang liwaliwanag po ng sinabi, sa Titus 1.5. Una, ang liwaliwanag si Pablo ang uh, nangunguna at naguutos. Ang inutosan si Titus. At, at ang liwaliwanag ng sinasabi sa kanya, eh kaya kita iniwan dyan sa kret. Eh kasi, ano eh, ito yung dahilan na unawaan po ba natin. Pakisabi may dahilan. Ayan. At ito yung mga dapat mong gawin na unawaan po ba natin. Ito yung mga dapat mong gawin. So, ibig sabihin, may dahilan at meron siyang mga dapat na gawin. Yan. The reason. Yan. Ano ang reason? Iniwang kita sa kreta upang ayusin mo ang mga bagay na dapat pang ayusin at pumili ka ng mga matatandang mamamahala sa iglesia sa bawat bayan ayon sa iniutos ko sa iyo. Yun. Okay. Eto. Inutosan ka ng nanay mo, mamalengke. Ang ginawa mo, naglinis ng bahay, nagpa-impress ka, sinorpresa mo siya. Ah, si nanay, nasa ibang lugar. Pagdating ni nanay, masusorpresa siya. Kaganda-ganda ng bahay, kalinis-linis ng bahay. Oh, ang tanong ko sa'yo, maganda ba na linisin mo ang bahay at sorpresahin mo ang nanay mo? Na pagdating ng nanay mo ay maganda at malinis ang bahay? Maganda naman talaga yan. Pero hindi yan ang utos ng nanay mo. Ang utos ng nanay mo, mamalengki ka. Gets mo po? Mamalengki ka, yun ang utos ng nanay mo eh. Ang tanong ko sa'yo, sino ang sinunod mo? Sarili mo o nanay mo? Ganyan ang maraming anak. Ganyan ang maraming church leaders. Ganyan ang maraming nasa ilalim. May pinapagawa sa kanila kung ano-ano ang mga pinagagawa nila at sinusunod lamang nila ang kanilang mga gusto at mga sarili lamang nila. Magtuturo ako rito, pupunta ako rito, magpaprapis ay ako rito, hindi nagpapaalam, hindi rin nagre-report. You know? If your mother commanded you to go to the market, and if you disobey your ma mother, in instead, you clean the house, and you are saying that this is good, And your mother will be so surprised. He is a your mother is an is in another place, and as your mother come, he she will be surprised because the house is clean and in order. But you know that is disobedience because your mother is telling you to go to market, not to clean the house. And this is the, 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 the problem of many sons and daughters, children, and many subordinates. They have, they receive clear instructions, and yet, kung ano-ano ang pinagagawa. O, kumusta ka dyan? Ano ba pinagagawa mo dyan? <laughs> kumusta ka na riyan? <laughs> ano, nasusunod mo ba yung mga utos? Nasusunod mo yung mga pinagagawa? <laughs> ano, yung mga bili ni nanay mo, ni tatay mo, ni guro Yung mga leader mo sa ibabaw mo, sinusunod mo ba? Kapatid, panahon na ng pagsunod mo Pag hindi ka pa sumunod, matitepo ka na, mamamatay ka na E tinatakot mo kami lingkod ng Diyos Hindi ka tinatakot <laughs> You know, I am not putting fear in, fear in your heart I'm just warning you, if you are in continuous disobedience to God and to those leaders given by God, and if you will continue disobey the true commands, the true mandates, the true instructions coming from God, coming from the true men and women of God, I tell you, you will go to hell. You will die early. 
you will be not just reprimanded by God, but you will suffer the punishment of God and suffer the punishment of hell. Naunawaan po ba natin? Yan. Ilingkod ng Diyos, nasa, nasa Biblia ba yung sinasabi mo? Opo. Alam na alam mo naman yun eh. Di ba yung mga masawain sa pupunta? O alam na alam mo naman yun eh. Kahit nga hindi ka na magbasa ng Biblia eh. O di ba? Kaya nga merong nanay at tatay na namamalo eh. Kaya nga may disciplinary action eh. Kaya nga meron nga nai-expel eh. Di ba? Kaya nga merong inaalis at tinatanggal eh. Kaya nga merong pinababalik eh. May pinapalitan eh. Bakit? Eh hindi nga kasi nakikinig, hindi nga kasi sumusunod. Kaya nga may bumabagsak sa klase eh. Kasi hindi nga kasi nakikinig at na sumusunod. Many fail in their classes. Many was removed. Many was replaced. You know, many did not uh, receive the promise. The promise. May, 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 many go, go to hell. And many are uh, uh, not receiving a long life from the Lord. Why? Because of disobedience. Ayun yun. Naunawaan po natin. Ito, basahin natin ito. Uh, alam mo ba na pag sinabi mong parents, if we will say parents, no, parents, magulang, we have the biological parents. And we have also the spiritual parents. Yeah. And we have also parents, we consider them parents, those who are over us. Naunawaan po ba natin? Di ba yung mga, ako no, yung mga, mga, hindi ko namang kaano-ano, Tinatawag akong tatay, lolo, daddy, dad, papa. Hindi ko naman sila kaano-ano. So, yun ay paggalang. Pero many of them are considering me as their spiritual parents. Many are not related to me. No blood relation. But they are calling me uh, papa, lolo, daddy, tatay, dad. Because uh, they are uh, uh, respecting me. Recognizing me as their spiritual parent. Naunawaan po ba natin? Ganun yun. Na, 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 diba? diba? Tama ba yun? So, sa aklat ng Epeso 6.1, tingnan natin yung Epeso 6.1. Yan yan. Epeso 6.1. Yan. Epeso 6.1. Children, obey your parents in the Lord for this is right. Children, obey your parents in the Lord for this is right. Yon, mga anak, sundin ninyo ang inyong mga magulang sa Panginoon sapagat ito ang tama. Hindi sinabing wag kang sumunod at sinabing pag sumunod ka ito ay mali. No. Children, biological children, spiritual children, or leaders, or subordinates, obey your parents. Your parents... In the Lord, your superior, your biological parents, your spiritual parents in the Lord. For this is right. Ito ang tama. Yung ikaw ay sumunod, ito yung tama. Kasi pag hindi ka sumusunod, tatamaan ka. <laughs> Naunawaan po ba natin? Pakisabi po ito yung tama. Ayan. Ayokong tamaan. Yun yun. Naunawaan po ba natin mga minamahal? So ito po yung tama na unawaan po natin. Kaya, ang kinakailangan po natin mga minamahal ay makinig tayo sa instruction. Sumunod tayo sa instruction. No? We have to listen carefully and we have to surely, no? Obey the instruction. Na unawaan po ba natin? You know the problem with the, with the so many disobedience You know, because of disobedience. That is, that, 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 yun na yun eh. Bakit maraming masawayin? Eh, masawayin nga eh. Eh, kung masunurin yan, eh, di masunurin yan. <laughs> The reason why many are disobedient, disobedient, because of, they are disobedient. <laughs> that is the only the reason. <laughs> Naunawaan po ba natin? So, but, ituloy natin yung Ephesians 6.1. Ephesians 6.1. Shall we continue? Ephesians 6.1. Verse 2. Verse 2. Honor your father and mother, which is the first commandment with the promise. No? Sabi nga noon, that it may go well with you and that you may enjoy long life on the earth. 
Honor your father and mother, which is the first commandment, with a promise that it may go well with you and that you may enjoy a long life on the earth. Paranganan mo. Igalang mo. Respect. Honor. Uh, your parents, your mother and father, and your biological mother and father, and your spiritual mother and father, those people over you, those, your superior, honor them. Hmm. Which is the first commandment with the promise, may pangako ang Diyos. May pangako ang Diyos. Sa mga ay ayaw sumunod, may palo ang Diyos. Those are obedient, God has a promise for those who, ha, who are disobedient. Uh, God has a has a hammer. <laughs> hammer, grabe, martilyo yun ah. Antin din yun ah. <laughs> Naunawaan natin. Yan. Verse 3. that it may go well with you and that you may enjoy long life on the earth. Para sa ikabubuti nyo yun, ikagaganda ninyo, para sa inyo ikauunlad, ikagiginhawa, at humaba ang buhay mo. Sabing ganun, that it may go well with you and enjoy long life here on earth. Ay, gusto mo ba ng mahabang buhay? Do you want long life? Hmm. Di, uh, di ba? Gusto mo bang umunlad yung buhay mo? Gusto mo bang managana? Eh, simple lang. Maging masunurin. Ilang naman ang sekreto eh. Kaya ang dami-dami mong sakit. Oh. Oh. Ang dami-dami mong karamdaman. Ang dami-dami mong kahirapan. You have so many poverty. You have so many sins. Oh, I mean, in it, you have so many uh, problems. And you have so many ailment. You have so many diseases. You, you know? Why? Because of disobedient. Yan. Masahin natin sa Tagalog. Kaya na-read it in Tagalog. Ipeso sa isuno hanggang tres. Mga anak, sundin ninyo ang inyong mga magulang sa Panginoon sapagat ito ang nararapat. Igalang mo ang iyong ama at ina. Nararapat daw. Ito ang unang utos na may kalakip na pangako. Ikaw ay giginhawa at haba ang iyong buhay sa lupa. If you want, to prosper and to live long life here on earth, be obedient, be sure to obey your superior. At di ba napakasimple? Hmm. Pagsabihan mo asawa mo, pagsabihan mo as anak mo, magulang mo, kapatid mo, pagsabihan mo yan, pagsabihan mo yung kapwa mo leader, pagsabihan mo yung mga tupa, pagsabihan mo yung mga government officials. Yes, all peoples on earth must be instructed by this truth. We must obey God. And we, we must declare what is uh, God's command, God's instruction. And we have to obey, surely to obey, be sure to obey our superiors. Ganun yun. Di ba? Ang hirap naman. Hey, and listen very carefully. The, uh, the, Apostle, the Apostle Paul's command is coming from the Lord. Yeah. First and foremost, Paul is an apostle coming from God. Si Apostol Pablo mismo ay talagang galing talaga sa Panginoon ito. At yung mga utos niya, galing din sa Panginoon. Apostle Paul is a, is a man mandated by God, handpicked, chosen by God, an apostle of God. And his instruction to Titus is a clear instruction coming from God. Ang liwanag nun eh. Naunawaan po ba natin ito? Ang liwanag nun. Kingdom of Jesus Fellowship is a church mandated by God. And me, as a servant of God, as a man of God, is God-ordained, mandated by God. Mm. And you have to listen to me. You have to obey my instruction. Or else you will die early. You will remove from your position by God. Oh. You will suffer. Oh, naunawaan po ba natin? Hahaba buhay mo. Eh pag di ka sumusunod, mamamatay ka ng maaga. Giginhawa ka ang liwanag. Pag di ka sumusunod, maghihirap ka. Oh, you shall prosper. If you are obedient, if you are disobedient, then what happened to you? You will become poor. 
The Bible declares, you will uh, possess long life if you are obedient. If you are disobedient, you will die early. Kahit lahat ng serpentina sa buong Pilipinas, inumin mo, tepo ka. Drink all the serpentina <laughs> and eat all the serpentina. serpentina. Uh, <laughs> here on earth, the ashitaba, the insulin plants, and all the medicines and vitamins and all organic plants. Take it! If you are disobedient to God, I, I tell you, I warn you, you will die early. Mamamatay ka ng maaga, sinasabi ko sa'yo. Magdarahop, maghihirap ka. Kaya ang masasabi ko sa'yo, ibalik mo yung charge, yung mga topang hindi iyo. Yung mga gamit na nasa bahay mo na hindi naman iyo, alam mong sa church yan, eh, huwag mong uh, ilagay yan. Balik mo sa church yan. Delikado ka. At huwag kang uh, likom ng likom kung kani-kanino na nagmamakaawa ka. Na para bagang hirap na hirap ka, hirap na hirap yung pamilya mo. Na para bagang pinababayaan kayo ng Diyos, pinababayaan kayo. Kung kani-kanino ka namamalimus at nagpapaawa. O may gulay. <laughs> you still have a chance to repent and renounce all your sins. Before it's too late, I tell you, brothers and sisters, I am warning you. Return the plaques, the church. Return all the things that is uh, not yours. Return it to God. Return it to the true owner. Return it to the true church. Naunawaan po ba natin? Ganun po yun. Mm. So, tingnan po natin yung Philippians 2.19-30. to 30. Yan. Philippians 2.19-30. to 30. Dito na po tayo magwawakas. Ah, ang bilis natin, no? Ah, bilis lang, malibilis lang naman talaga ito. Pilipos 2.19 hanggang 30. Nasahin natin ito. Pilipos 2.19. 19 hanggang 30. This is just a short message, I tell you. So, Philippians 2, 19 to 30. So, shall we read it? Ayan. Anong sabi rito? Philippians 2, 19 to 30. I hope in the Lord to send Timothy to you soon. I hope in the Lord Jesus to send Timothy to you soon that I also may be cheered when I received news about you. So, bakit ipinapadala ni Pablo si Timoteo sa mga taga-Pilipos upang magalak siya at sa pagkakasugo ni, Pab, ni, ni, ni Timoteo sa Pilipos, babalitaan ni, ni Timoteo si Pablo patungkol sa kalagayan ng Pilipos. Hmm. Na, ang, ang liwanag po, no? I hope in the Lord to send Timothy to you soon that I also may be cheered when I receive news about you. Ako'y, mat, ako'y magagalak na nawa may, padala ko, nawa may padala ko si Timoteo dyan. Sino magpapadala? Si Pablo. At ano ang dahilan? Para makabalita ako. Kung ano yung patungkol sa inyo? Communication. Nakikilig pa ho ba tayo? Eh, lalo na ngayon. Na pa, kahit na nasa dulo ka ng mundo, you know, even though you are in a faraway country, you can communicate me, for example. Yeah. Why? Through social media. Through the internet. Through data. Through the network. Hmm. There are so many ways for you to report. There are so many ways, many ways to consult. There are so many ways that you will uh, uh, ask permission. Yung bang magpapaalam ka muna? Hindi yung kung kani-kanino ka, saan-saan ka nagpupunta at naglilikom ka at nagpapaawa ka at nagpaparapisay ka. Eh, hindi ka naman nagpapaalam. Tapos eh, hindi ka nagre-report. Oh, hindi ka nun. Walang ganun. <laughs> <laughs> walang ganun bro bro walang ganun brad walang ganun sis oh. I have no one else like him who takes a genuine interest in your welfare genuine interest makinig ka po sa akin 
Alam mo, maraming nagtatayo ng church, maraming nangangaral, tumutugtog, umaawit, maraming nagpo full time. Ay nako! Para lang pang sarili, sumikat, at saka para kumita ng pera at buhayin yung pamilya niya. Yung pamilya ko, yung pababayaan, nakawawa naman yung pamilya ko ha. Oh my gulay. You know, I entered the full time ministry. You know, not, 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 Uh, for money, not for, 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 not, not for position, not for popularity. Hindi po, nagikinig pa ho ba uh, kayo sa akin? Eh, buhay ko, iasa ko sa'yo. Pamilya ko, iasa ko sa'yo. Hoy, matagal ko nang inasa ang buhay ko sa Diyos at ang pamilya ko sa Diyos. Ang Kingdom of Jesus Fellowship ay hindi ko inaasa kung kanikanino, inaasa ko to sa Diyos. Kaya wag kung sino-sino ang pinagkukontak mo. Na nagpapaawa-awa ka, nakakala mo, nakakala mo, pinababayaan ka ang pamilya mo. Oh my gulay. <laughs> Nakikinig po ho ba tayo? Glory to God. Praise the Lord. Brethren, if our governments will not fight for the territories of the Filipino people, of the, the territories of the Philippines in the West Philippine Sea, God will move and will fight for us. Praise the Lord. Kung hindi paglalaban ng gobyerno ang ating karapatan sa West Philippine Sea laban sa mga Chinese government na ito at sa yung ating mga teritoryo hindi paglalaban ng ating gobyerno ipaglalaban ito ng Panginoon. Hindi niyo ba, ba nakikita? Napakarami ng community pantry ngayon ah. Bakit? Eh kasi puro na lang lockdown, puro na lang quarantine, wala namang ayuda. So ang daming naglitawan na community pantry ngayon. Nowadays in, here in the Philippines You know, community pantries uh, emerge uh, like mushrooms. Why? Because so many lockdowns, so many quarantines, and yet no, no, no support, lack of support coming from the government. And in fact, many health workers are, you know, you are in agony, are in pain. They are continually uh, asking the government, to release their salaries, their benefits. Yung pong nakalaan na dapat na sahod nila, eh dapat daw maibigay sa kanila. Nagpapakahirap yung mga frontliners. Wala na nga tulog na nga mamatay. Di ba? Many frontliners, uh, uh, lack of sleep, working uh, over, uh, over time, overload. You know, many frontliners uh, get, uh, getting sick and uh, many are dying. And yet, The salaries uh, that uh, uh, that they may receive, or the benefits that they may that 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 they have to receive, you know they are not receiving it. Hindi po nila natatangga. Nakalulungkot no. Glory to God. Naunawa ang po ba natin? Yan. I hope in the Lord Jesus to send Timothy to you sa to you soon. that I also may be cheered when I receive news about you. I have no one else like him who takes a genuine interest in your welfare. For everyone looks out for his own interest. Ayan. Lagi na lang pang sarili ang iniisip ng marami. Huwag niyong pagmapabayaan yung asawa ko. Huwag niyong pabayaan yung asawa ko. Huwag niyong pabayaan yung anak ko. Wawa niyo bang kami? Naglilingkod kami. Full time kami. <laughs> hindi po ganoon mga minamahal naintindihan po natin hindi ho tayo pwedeng magpaawa kanino man hindi tayo pwedeng magpaawa sa mga Chinese we will insist our right naunawaan po pakinggan mo itong maigi pag ikaw ay nag full time na puro kapaawa wala kang revelation pag ikaw ay nag full time na puro kapaawa wala kang faith If you enter the full-time ministry and you are always having self-pity, you have no revelation and you have no faith. I entered the full-time ministry. I have revelation and I have faith. Get, get, get it? So brethren, you know, the government officials here in the Philippines, must not look for the welfare of the Filipino, not, oh, not just for their own interests. Listen, politicians, look 
for the welfare of the Filipino people, not for your own interest. Get it? Mm. Alam po ninyo, ako po'y nabubuhay, at ang pamilya ko'y nabubuhay, nakakapag-aaral ang aking mga anak, mga minamahal, sapagkat inasa ko to sa Diyos, at, talaga, at talagang ako'y may revelation, at ako'y may pananampalataya. I was truly commanded by God to enter the full-time ministry. I was truly commanded by God to put up, establish the Kingdom of Jesus Fellowship, to go to radio, to go to television, to go to social media, and to write, to move for, uh, all over the Philippine Islands and all over the nations of the world. This is not my own dream, desire, ambition. I was not commanded by anybody to do this. I was commanded by God and continually receiving instructions from the Lord. Aliwanag po ba yun? Ganun po yun mga minamahal. Glory to God. For our, ay eh, for our, na, 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 nalipat, nalipat yung Biblia ko. <laughs> Sana ba yun? Aha, Philippians. Philippians, chapter 1, verse 19, and uh, up to verse 30. I hope in the Lord Jesus to send Timothy to you soon, that I also may be cheered when I receive news about you. I have no one else like him who takes a genuine interest in your welfare. For everyone looks out for his own interests, not those of Jesus Christ. But you know that Timothy has proved himself. Pakasabi, prove. Yan. Alam nyo, napa, alam nyo maraming tao. Hindi pa nga nagpo-full time eh, kung sino-sino na tinatawag. Supportahan nyo ako, supportahan nyo ako ha. Kababalik mo lang full time, tagal mo nag-backslide. Tapos, supportahan nyo ako, supportahan nyo ako ha. Prove, prove yourself. Prove yourself. Patunayan mo na ikaw ay tinayo, tinindig ng Panginoon. Patunayan mo na ikaw ay lingkod ng Diyos. Patunayan mo na ikaw ay isang mabuting tagapanguna ng, ng pamilya, ng iglesia, ng bansa. Prove yourself. Hmm. Alam niyo, papayuhan ko kayo. Ang ipanalangin niyo, ipag-ayunan niyo, suportahan niyo. Ako. Hmm. Naprob ko na ang sarili ko. Probe na ako. Suportahan nyo ang radyo at ang TV natin. Ako suportahan mo at ang pamilya ko, ang radyo at ang TV natin, ang mandate natin, ang Kingdom of Jesus Fellowship. Kasi nasubok mo na ako. I am not a product of division. I never still plucks churches from anybody. I am in the full-time ministry for 33 years. Probe na ini. Probe na. Kaya kung magbibigay ka na ikapot handog first force, maglalab gift ka, susuporta ka, huwag kong sino-sino, ako suportahan mo, pamilya ko, ito suportahan mo, ang Kingdom of Jesus Fellowship, proven na ito. Nagliligtas, nagpapagaling, gumagawa ng Himala. Dinadala ang bundo sa highest calling and perfect destiny in Christ. Proven by God and proven by anybody, 33 years in the full-time ministry, Unshaken, unshaken, unshakable kingdom. No defeat, no surrender, everlasting. Eh wala naman ako. Alam mo lahat ng nangaaway sa akin? Wala. Iiba na, nangamatay na eh. Yung mga hindi sumunod, nangamatay na eh. Wala naman na ako, na ako nakitang nangaaway sa akin na nagtagumpay eh. Lahat, lahat niya lumuhod yung tala eh. Pag nakikita ako, sorry po, sorry po. Puro ka ng sorry, hindi mo ipakita yung sorry sa buhay mo. <laughs> Pakisabi, proven. Hmm. But you know that Timothy has proved himself because as a son with his father, he has served me in the work of the gospel. No. Pag nag-full time ka, titestingin ka. Pag hindi ka nakapasa, magtrabaho ka na lang nang hindi mo ginugulo ang marami. Hindi ka tinawag. Kasi kung tinawag ka ng Panginoon, tatahimik ka. Ako tinawag ako ng Panginoon eh. Kaya dapat yung radyo tuloy-tuloy yan, yung TV tuloy-tuloy. Itinawag ako ng Panginoon dyan eh. Pinalagay ng Diyos yan eh. Tinawag ako ng Panginoon para ikutin ang buong mundo. Tinawag ng Lord ang Kingdom of Jesus Fellowship. Eh marami rin. Hindi, 
sinabihan lang ng asawa eh, mag full time ka na o sinabihan lang ng kung sino sino mag full time ka na oh. oh may gulay at gusto kong ipaalam sa inyo ha nag full time ako wala akong utang kung kani kanino ha hanggang ngayon wala akong utang sila may utang sa akin baka may utang ka sa akin bayaran mo baka ang dami mong pinapangako sa akin ha magkaroon lang alam mo lingkod ng Diyos pag nagkaroon ako ng perang ganito lingkod ng Diyos pag nagkaroon ako ng sasakyan ganito eh, dumating na sasakyan dumating na yung pera kung kanina mo binibigay kung kanina mo pinapagamit ginagamit mo sa kasalanan o yung mga binababa akong dapat gawin di mo naman binababa <laughs> oh my god <laughs> I hope that in the Lord Jesus to send Timothy to you soon that I also may be cheered when I receive news about you I have no one else like him who takes a genuine interest in your welfare for everyone looks out for his own interests not those of Jesus Christ but you know that Timothy has proved himself Because as a son with his father, he has served me with me in the work of the gospel. I hope therefore to send him as soon as, uh, as I see how things go with me. So, nawa, no? May padala ko siya sa inyo. And I am confident in the Lord that I, will, that I myself will come soon. Sana may padala ko dyan sa, nawa, may padala ko dyan si Timoteo. Kasi kaisang puso ko ito eh. Parehas kami nito eh. Na ipag, eh may sinabi ako rito, sinusunod eh. Hindi sumusuway. Nakikinig pa ho ba tayo? At uh, nawa, makarating din dyan ako sa inyo. Glory to God. Verse 25. But I think it is necessary to send back to you Epaphroditus, my brother, fellow worker, and fellow soldier, who is also your messenger. Yan. Pero mas mas mainam ang ipadala ko na lang sa inyo is ipaproditus ang aking kapatid, kapwa manggagawa, kapwa mandirigma. Mandirigma, fellow soldier ha. Mandirigma. Sabi mo soldier. Eh purihin ng pangalan ng Panginoon. Alam mo, uh, listen very carefully. You know, this house is a very big house. Very big, uh, you know. Uh, how many square, me square meters is this? How many bedrooms? Two floors? You know, I sleep here all alone. Hindi ako bakla, hindi ako bading. May mumu, may mumu, may mumu. Sabi nga sa akin ni Pastora Juliet, ikaw lang po mag-isa natutulog dyan? Oo naman. I've been to many provinces and many countries. <laughs> I, I, I am meeting many demons. Even Lucifer, I met Lucifer, Satan. I am not afraid of them. <laughs> Hindi po ako takot sa kanila. Nakikinig pa ho ba tayo? Ako po ay minura, sinuntok, pinalayas. Pinagtabuyan. Ako po ay binato, kinasahan ng baril. Hindi po ako lumayas, hindi po ako umalis, hindi po ako natakot. Dami kong lugar na pinuntahan, mga demon possess ako nag-cast out. Mga lugar na tinulugan ko, mga haunted house. Yeah, truly haunted house is a, re is, is a real haunted house. Truly there is a haunted house. A house where demons dwell where, where do we, demons dwell opo meron talagang mga lugar may mga bahay talaga may mga tao talaga may demonyo at maraming demonyo Mark chapter 5 the demon possessed man in Mark chapter 5 Mark chapter 5 legions of demons are in him legions of demons are in him Mark chapter 5 But the Lord is not afraid of legions of demons. Not afraid of legions of demons. Kaya, pasensya na po ha. Nakakahiya yun. Yung sasabihin mo sa church, may lumalabas ang masasamang espiritu, takot ka matulog. Nakakahiya po yun. Pasensya na po. 
Pasensya na po. Ang sabi ko po ay presensya na po. Ikinig po ho ba tayo? I went to Visaya. I've, I've met many demons there. But I am not afraid of them. I went, I went to Mindanao and, me, and met many demons there. I am not afraid of them. I, I went to different parts of, of Luzon. Luzon. Luzon business in Mindanao. To make it clear. I've met many demons. I am not afraid of them. They are afraid of me because I am a handsome man. <laughs> Takot sila sa akin. Nagiginig pa ho ba tayo? Hindi ako natatakot sa dilim, sa totoo lang. Hindi rin ako natatakot matulog mag-isa. Oh may gulay. Nagiginig pa ho ba tayo? Kaya nga napunta si Ate Juliet dito. Eh, kaya lang po mag-isa natutulog dito? Oo naman. Oh. <laughs> Ikinig pa ho ba tayo? Glory to God. But I think it is necessary to send back to you, Epaphroditus, my brother, fellow worker, and fellow soldier, who is also your messenger, whom you sent to take care of my needs. For he longs for all of you and, and is distressed because you heard he was ill. Indeed, he was ill and almost died. But God had mercy on him, and not only him, but also on me, to spare me sorrow upon sorrow. Therefore, I am all the more eager to send him so that when you see him again, you may be glad and I may have less anxiety. But I think it is necessary to send back to you, Epaphroditus, my brother, fellow worker, and fellow soldier, who is also your messenger, whom you send to take care of my needs, because for he longs for you, all of you, and is distressed because you heard he was ill. In that he was ill and almost died, but God had mercy on him, and not, not on him only, but also on me, to spare me sorrow upon sorrow. Therefore, I am all the more eager to send him, so that when you see him again, you may be glad, and I, and I may have less anxiety. Welcome him in the Lord with great joy and honor, men like him, because he almost died for the work of Christ. Muntik na siyang mamatay dahil sa gawain ni Kristo. Alam mo, kung iisa-isahin ko lang yung dinaanan kong laban, kung iisa-isahin ko lang yung laban na dinaanan ng pamilya ko, yung mga awang-awa sa sarili nila at awang-awa sa pamilya nila at kung sino-sino ang pinagkukontak nila dito sa Pilipinas hanggang sa ibang bansa at nagpapasuporta Sukodo lang yung mga hindi naman dapat isuporta sa kanila. Pinipilit din ang isuporta sa kanila. Ay, mawalang galang na po. Hindi po ito pagmamalaki at pagmamataas. Kakain po kayo ng alikabok. Ang sabi ko ay kakain po kayo ng alikabok. Hindi ito mapat, hindi kayo makakatapat. You know, you became Christian and you backslide. I never backslide. You serve the Lord, you, and you, you enter the full-time ministry, and you backslide. Oh, prove yourself. I never backslide. Hmm. Kaya sabi ko nga, kung meron kang paniniwala, ang pakikinga, nasusuporta, natutulungan, ang totoong lingkod ng Diyos. Nakikinig pa ba tayo? Kaya nga po, merong Kapatid, iyak ng iyak eh. Muntik pang mamatay at pag hindi magtutuloy ito, may nawarning ako, ma, kahit nakikinig siya ngayon, mamamatay siya. <laughs> hindi ako nagbibiro. Are you a prophet of them? No. I am like Jonah. Nini B, if you will not repent, Nini B, you will remove from map Say of the Lord, Jonah prophesied. And Nineveh repented from their sins, from king to the least of the Ninevites. But they returned again to their sins. And Nahum prophesied. It's time for you to remove 
from the map. Oh. Eh, pinayuhan ni Jonah, pinag-prophesy si Jonah sa mga ninibi. Pag hindi kayo nagsisin ng kasalanan, buburahin kayo ng Diyos sa mapa. Nakinig sila mula sa hari sa pinakamali. Eh, makalipas lang ilang panahon, nagbalik sa mali. Pinrophesy ni, no, ni, John, ni Nahum naman. Sabi naman ni Nahum, buburahin na kayo ngayon sa mapa. Look at the map, no ninibi, no Sodom, no Gomorrah, no Jericho. These places were all removed by God from the map because of disobedience. Not listening to the prophecy of the true prophet of God, Jonah, and, and the, the lives. At mga kagaya nila. Naunawaan po natin. Hmm. Yun po yun eh. Kaya huwag kang nagpapaniwala dyan na kung sino-sino. Dumalo ka sa amin, makinig ka sa amin, manood ka sa amin, suportahan mo kami. You know, marami kang tinig na maririnig. At sasabihin sila raw ang tinayo, totoo, tama, mabuti, mainam, likod, lingkod daw sila ng Panginoon. Brethren, I tell you, these are false preachers. Wolves in sheep clothing. No proof. Walang proeba. Many will say, listen to me, join me, send your tithes and offerings here. Makinig po kayo sa akin. Lahat po ng nangangako na ibibigay ikapot handog, first fruit sa kingdom of Jesus fellowship, lahat ng nangangako na susuportahan niya nyo ako at ang kingdom of Jesus fellowship, at hindi nyo ginagawa, makinig kayo sa akin. Darating na ang hatol at dumating na nga sa iba. At yung hindi tinutuloy, meron na naman ako narin narin narinig na naman eh. Eh dumating na naman yung hatol sa kanya. Eh puro na lang pangako eh. Napanaginipan ko po kayo. Ito po yung sabi sa akin ng Panginoon. Sabi pala sa'yo ng Diyos yan eh. Na, na naginip ka pala. Hindi naman ang sino ako para, para panaginip, panaginipan mo ako at kausapin ka ng Diyos. You know many. God talk to them according to them. They had dreams. They will give their tithes and offerings first for here. They will they will pass and pray for me, my family and the kingdom of Jesus fellowship. They will give this and that. And yet, oh, forgetting their promises, forgetting their promises. And not not in constant obeying the 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 the, 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 the will of God. Alam ko po, hindi magaang ang preaching ko. Alam ko po ito. This is not an easy preaching, I tell you. But this is very, very true, coming from the heart of God. Lahat ng mga chapters at outreaches ng Kingdom of Jesus Fellowship, lahat ng mga pinakonek, lahat ng mga leader, part-time man o full-time, huwag kayong magkaroon ng sarili nyo Delikado kayo. Ang dami ko nang nakita na ang warning ay natupad. At ang sabi ko, madadamay ang pamilya ninyo. Kaya yung isa, nagmatigas pa at nagmataas pa, patay tatay niya. Patay? Opo. Ginusto niyo po yun? Hindi. Nalungkot nga po, umiyak nga po ako. Eh. Opo. Nakiramay pa nga po ako eh. Buong pamilya namin nakiramay. Ipinakita ng buong pamilya namin ang aming pakikiraman. Despite of what did happen. Despite of the, the disobedience of that person. Oh. The father died. We were, we, we were there. giving our deepest sympathy and prayer not happy for what happened did that person receive the warning yeah so many many times but that person ignored the warning it is being posted in the facebook it is being preached in the youtube it is being preached here in the Philippines and abroad. 
And despite the warnings, don't want to listen. Ang hirap ng ganun eh. Alam ninyo yung mga, eto hindi ko na dapat to sabihin, pero sabihin ko na rin. Kung sino-sino yung mga naninira sa akin, ay nako, tingnan mo yung, ay nako. Nagpapakampi kung kani-kanino. Siyempre, paniniwalaan mo siya. Side, mo, side niya lang ang narinig mo eh. Tinanong mo ba ako yung side ko? Did you ask me? Did you get my side? What happened to them? What happened to their jobs and their business? Did they prosper? What happened to their ministry? Did they prosper? What happened to their family? Are they still alive? Brethren, any attack to the man of God, to the true man of God, will not prosper. This is unshakable kingdom. I tell you, kingdom of Jesus is unshakable kingdom. No defeat, no surrender, everlasting. And the promises and the faithfulness of God to the kingdom of Jesus will continue till the end. Praise the Lord. Naunawaan po ba natin? Kaya ang sabing ganoon ni Pablo, gusto ko ipadala sa inyo si Timoteo. Si Timoteo eh. May pureba ito. Kaisang puso ko ito eh. Pero wag na lang sa ipaprodize na ipapadala ko. Alam nyo, dahil lang sa Panginoon, o dahil sa Panginoon, what I mean, muntik na siyang mamatay. Kikinig ba ho ba tayo? You know, Titus and Timothy, Epaphroditus, are assistants to Apostle Paul. And they are not disobedient to Apostle Paul's command, teaching and instruction. They connect with Apostle Paul. They, they are giving the news to Apostle Paul. They are giving report to Apostle Paul. And they are almost died for God and Apostle Paul. They risked their lives. Naunawaan po ba natin? Lingkod ng Diyos, eh, yung bang pagbibigay ng buhay ni Timoteo, ni Epaphroditus, ni Titus, Si Pablo ay eh, sa Diyos ba nila ginagawa yun? Opo. Supporting Paul is supporting God. Obeying Paul is obeying God. Receiving God's com uh, Apostle Paul's command and instruction is receiving God's commands and instructions. Obeying Paul is obeying God. When Elijah 1 Kings 17, 1 Kings 17, verse 6, and the following verses. 1 Kings 17, verse 6, and the following verses. When Elijah go to the widow woman in the Sarepta of Sidon, Elijah said to the widow in the Sarepta of Sidon, Give me a drink. And the woman said, I will give you. Give me a bread. And the woman said, I have no bread, only a little flour in a jar and a little oil in a jug. One cook, one meal for me and my son. I have no husband and we will die. And Elijah said, make a dow or make a bread, but first allow me to eat. After I eat, you eat and your son. And... During famine, you will not die, you will not prosper because you are supporting me. You are obeying me. Brethren, supporting, obeying the true men and women of God, the true instruction, the true command by God, the true superiors is a blessing to all of us. Elijah is a blessing to the Sarepta to the widow of woman in Sidon, in Sarepta Sidon. Again, Elijah is a blessing to the widow woman in Sarepta Sidon.
kapag tinanggap mo, pinakinggan mo, tinulungan mo, sinamahan mo, sinaportahan mo ang totoong ministeryo, Kingdom of Jesus, ang totoong lingkod ng Diyos Apostol that will bring you to, to the real salvation of Jesus, to bring you to your highest calling and perfect yes, destiny in Christ, for you to receive miracle and the healing from God, and for you to experience the goodness of God, if you will support the true ministry and the true man of God, it is a blessing to you. Nakikinig pa ho ba tayo? Naalala ko, nagkaroon ng super typhoon rosing. There was super typhoon rosing. Happened to be called the region. Particularly, I believe, Katanduanes. No, 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 no. Wala, no seafoods coming that, that no seafoods to be uh, to be walang mahuling mga, mga seafoods no seafoods to be cats no? to be coat to be coat nakuha po ba natin in the sea because there was super type on the sea You know, the people in Bicol region, particularly Katanduanes, that was, I, I, cannot, I cannot remember the, the, exact, the exact year. Super Typhoon Rosing happened. Signal number 4, I believe, signal number 4. Ang kanilang ulam, they only eat rice with, uh, pair with uh, sardines. But when I come to Katanduanes, they cut speech. They cut seafoods. Yeah. The man of God came to that place and it's a blessing. It is a blessing. Lahat po ng probinsya, bahay, lugar na pinuntahan ko, binless ng Diyos pinagpala ng Panginoon. All that receive me, accept me, welcome me, God bless them, spirit, soul, and body, financially, materially, every areas of their of, and aspects of their lives. I tell you, when the widow woman in the Sarepta Sidon received Elijah, it is a blessing for he, her and his her son. Nung tinanggap ng babaeng balo si Elijah, blessing yun para sa kanya, para sa anak niya. Nakikinig pa ba tayo? Kaya kung marami riyan, naglilingkod-lingkodan lang lang Panginoon, nagpo-pultay-pultay man lang, nagahayo-hayoan lang, nagaagot-agotan lang, nagtutugtugtugtugan, at nagsasayaw-sayawan lang yan. Tatayo kami ng church dito, bibili kami ng adot, ganyan-ganyan, makangaral kami ng ganyan. Wala namang preba yung mga yan eh. Di ba nakita mo lahat ng pinarapis sa ikon natupad? Opo, at patuloy pa pong matutupad. All my prophecies were fulfilled and will continually be fulfilled, I tell you. Thus saith the Lord. Thus saith the Lord is a prophecy coming from God. This is the word of the Lord. It's a prophecy coming from God. All the prophecies I've made, I declared, I pronounced, all these things come to pass. So support, bless the true man of God and the true ministry. Pray and pass, give your tithes and offerings and first fruits, and obey your superior, your leader, your biological, spiritual father. Then, if you will, if you will, if be sure to obey, it will go well with you. Long life and blessings. Naman na ba po ba natin? Bago tayo magwakas, ha? Ang text natin para sa mga nahuli, ang team natin, be sure to obey your superior. Superior means leaders over you. Your biological parents, spiritual parents, all the leaders in the government, churches, and whatever institution uh, established by God, obey them. Instructions and commands, not negative, not will harm you or anybody, that will send you to hell. Ano mang pinapagawa sa'yo na hindi makakasama sa'yo, hindi makakasama sa iba, hindi ka naman pupunta ng impyerno, sundin mo. Pag pupunta ka ng impyerno, makakasama sa'yo, makakasama sa iba, negative, ba't mo susundin? O kaya nga ako, hindi ako naniniwala eh. 
naagawin na lang naagawin ng China yung mga kinagawa na nga Sprouty Island eh. Nasabihin pa natin, good friend yung China. Hindi ako naniniwala ron ha. Kung good friend ka, bakit mo aagawin yung teritoryo namin? Ang totoong good friend, hindi na nga agaw, nagbibigay pa. Handaan mo yan. Tapos ngayon, itong mga, ito na naman nga uh, panibago na naman eh. Inaagaw na naman, nasabihin, good friend. Hindi sa Diyos yun. It is not of God. Hmm. Any, neg any negative, any, anything that will harm us. Eh, ini inaalis yung pag-aari ng Pilipinas. Ano ang masasabing sa Diyos yun? Any command, any instruction, any ordinance, any law that will harm us, that will take away our blessing, our property, our territory, will send us to hell, any instruction, any command, negative, is not of God. Are, are these, all these things are not of God. Pero pag makabubuti sa'yo, mababago ka, maliligtas ka, lalaya ka, gagaling, gagaling ka, papasok ka ng lagat, mababago buhay mo, pagpapalain ka, haba buhay mo, may sundin mo. Ephesians 6.1-3 Ephesians 6.1-3 May I repeat? May I read again? Ephesians 6.1-3 May I read again? Oh. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and mother, which is the first commandment with the promise that it may go well with you, and that you may enjoy long life on earth. This is right? With the, the, uh, it has a promise? It is the first commandment? Regarding uh, in obeying the parents, pero, uh, and the, the our superior, pero syempre, ang pinaka first commandment, yung love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and might. So, ibang tinutukoy dito na first commandment regarding ito sa obedience sa ating mga superior. That it may go well with you and that you may enjoy long life on earth. Hmm. Tapos, basahin natin yung Titus. Titus 1.5. O, Titus 1.5. Basahin natin. Anong sabi sa Titus 1.5? Tingnan natin. Yan. Titus 1.5. Yan na, magwawakas na tayo, magpipray na tayo. Eh kahit di pa tayo nagpipray eh, nababago ka na, natutubid ka na, nalilinis ka na, nababanal ka na eh, gumagaling ka na sa iyong sakit at karamdaman. Hindi pa tayo nagpipray. There's no prayer being done and yet, the Lord is changing you, transforming you, making you holy, making you obedient, releasing His blessing to you, releasing His healing and miracle to you. releasing His anointing and power to you. Yes, you are desiring to obey God and your superior. So what can, uh, you know, God cannot uh, withhold this blessing to you. Titus 1.5 The reason, may dahilan eh, ito ang dahilan. I left you in Crete was that you might straighten out that was left unfinished and appoint elders in every city as I directed you. As I directed you. Meron dahilan kung bakit ka ta nilagay dyan. May inuutos ako sa'yo. Oh. Hindi yung uh, gusto mo ang ipapatopad mo riyan. Hindi ganon. E pag ganyan ka, si Satanas ka. Kasi si Satanas, si Satanas, ayaw sumunod sa Diyos eh. O, oh. May pinapagawa ang Diyos kay Satanas. Ang ginawa ni Satanas, yung one-third na angel, dinaya niya eh. Pinala, pinaalabag niya sa Diyos eh. You know, if you are disobedient to God, you are like as, you are like Satan. And Satan is your father. Because Satan deceived one-third of angels in heaven to disobey God. And their destiny is hell. Oh, you see? Naunawaan po ba natin? Pero alam ko hindi ka ganun. Naunawaan po ba natin? Tayo po ay magiging masunurin sa Panginoon. Amen? Ahaba buhay, mananagana, ayaw ba natin nun papasok ng langit? Ayaw ba natin nun? Diba? Naunawaan po ba natin? Long life, and uh, syempre, long life, long life, uh, it means it, uh, it includes uh, good health, healing and miracle, long life. 
long life. And not only that, uh, God will uh, uh, make us uh, pro prosperous, victorious, successful. Oh my, oh my God, praise the Lord. Hindi oh my God, oh my God talaga yun. Praise the Lord. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Napakabait ng Diyos, napakabuti ng Diyos, no? Ayaw ng Diyos na naliligaw at naliligas ng landas, eh. Ayaw ng Diyos na pupunta ng imperno. Ayaw ng Diyos na nagdudusa sa sakit, karamdaman, sa kahirapan. Kaya payuhan mo yung anak mo. Anak, maging masunurin ka na sa akin bago maging huli ang lahat sa buhay mo. Baka kunin ka na ng Diyos. <laughs> Hindi ako nagbibiro, ah. Warnikan mo. Pag nananatili kang masuway, baka kunin ka na. Mabuti sana kung Diyos ang kumuha, eh, kung si Satan ang kumuha. Yun ang masaklan. Yun ang masakit. Oh. If a person die and go to heaven, if a person died uh, in a very young age and go to heaven, so there's no problem. It, it's, it, it's not a problem. If a person died early in his early age and go to hell, oh, it's a big problem. Kaya warningan mo. Warningan mo ng warningan. Magbago na, magtawid na ng landas. Makinig na. Basahin mo Ephesians 6, 1 to 3. Basahin mo yan. Mga anak, mga ina po, mga pamangkin, mga nakababatang kapatid, mga nasa ilalim. Oh. At yun namang mga matatanda, eh huwag namang nagdudawag-dawag at huwag namang ipaagaw, ipanakaw yung mga lupain natin sa, sa West Philippines at sabihin good friend yung Chinese. Huwag namang ganun. Eh, ang dami ng binangga ng Chinese na mga bangka natin eh, hindi naman napapanagot eh mga mangingisda natin hindi naman makapangisda doon kawawa naman sila eh kikinig pa ho ba tayo be a good leader be a good superior be a good parent receive or get the true mandate, the true word the true instruction coming from God and relay it to your subordinates to the person to, to, to persons under you and subordinates children, assistants any command any mandate that is from God you receive it very clear so obey it and we will go to heaven And we will receive long life and we will be victorious and prosperous and successful in every areas and aspects of our lives. Tayong lahat ay yung mga kong pamikita tayo po yung manalangin. Ura Raba Shiri Ribishanda Lalabahanda Father, you desire all the nations to be saved. You desire all the nations to prosper. You desire all peoples on earth to receive healing and miracle and to receive good help. You desire all peoples on earth to obey you, to obey you and do your will till the last breath of our lives, especially the Filipino people. Ura raba shiri di bianda la laba shiri di bianda la rahanda. Ura raba kanda la laba shanda. So, Father, right now, we come to you with a humble heart. Lumalapit kami sa iyo na may papapagpapakumbabang puso sapagat nais mo na ang buong mundo, lalo na ang Pilipinas, Mabago, maligtas, gumaling, mapalaya, managana, magtagumpay. At maranasan ng iyong kabutihan. Gawin ang kalooban mo hanggang sa huling hininga ng aming mga buhay. So let it be done in Jesus' name. Let it be done. Narito po kami na iyong mga ginawa, nilikha. Narito po kami na iyong mga anak at iyong mga, iling, mga lingkod mo. Kung ano ang gusto mo, mangyari sa aming buhay at maipatupad po namin. We are here, your creations, your sons and daughters, your children. We are here, Lord. Lord, we declare that we are willing to do thine will, not our will, but thine will, God. In Jesus' name. Sa oras na ito, mayroong problema sa lalamunan mo, sa baga mo, Meron kang nani, may nakikinig at nanonood sa akin, may pain ka eh. Meron pang uh, hindi ko alam kung bakit may problema ka sa pag-iika-ikang paglakad, no? You have problem uh, on your feet, you have problem on your throat, on your lungs. 
You know, you have so many problems right now. Those who are suffering from sicknesses and diseases, from any ailment, from any COVID-19, from coronavirus. Lahat po nang nakikinig at nanonood sa akin, ha? Inaalis ng news yung kahirapan ninyo, yung mga pagtakas, pagtakbo ninyo, yung pag-re-rebelde ninyo, pag hindi nyo pagiging masunurin, pinapatawag kayo ng Lord, binabago kayo ng Lord, pinapagaling at ginagawa kayo ng Himala. Galawin nyo na yung mga kamay ninyo, yung mga paan ninyo. Kilos na yung mga ulo. Kamilos na po. Yes. Come on. Come on. Shake your body. Move your head. Move your eyes, your ears, your nose. Yes. Touch anything from your body that has pain, that has ailment, that has, that has sickness, and that has disease. All are gone. You are healed by the stripes of Jesus. You have been healed by the stripes of Jesus. In Jesus' name, the Son of the living God. And the Lord is saying unto you, God will fight for you and will supply all your needs. At uh, sa oras na ito, babalik na po ang sigla at saya, saya sa iyong buhay. Noong mga nakalipas, nawala yung sigla at saya sa iyong buhay. Eh. Pati sa pagdalo mo, paglilingkod mo, ngayon ibabalik na ng Panginoon. Yes. The Lord is uh, bringing you back to your to God's calling. And the Lord is releasing His anointing, His power unto you. So take it and receive it now in Jesus' name. The Son of the Living God. Yes, take it and receive it now. The Son of the Living God. You are listening and watching right now. Receive God's anointing. Ura baba kanda lala ba shiri di bianda. Meron pa ako nakikita mga butlig-butlig, mga bukol-bukol, pati mga skin disease. Yes. Seas skin disease. You know, the Lord is healing it in Jesus' name, the Son of the Living God. Even blindness and even blurred eyes, the Lord is healing it in Jesus' name. Cancer is being healed in Jesus' name. Kidney problem, kidney trouble in Jesus' name. At saka yung pagiging matatakotin mo saan ka man natatakot, Yes, inaalis ngayon ng Panginoon. Yes. You are always afraid of this and that, to do this and that. It is good. It is positive. It is according to God's will. So the Lord is removing all your fear in Jesus' name. The Son of the Living God. Ang dami kong nakikita ang Himala, kagalingan, pagpapala, kasaganaan, paghipo, mamubuos ang malakas na kapangyarihan ng Panginoon. Tanggapin nyo sa oras na ito. sa pangalan ni Kristo Jesus at sa kapangyarihan ng banal na Espiritu. Oh, salamat po Ama. Salamat po Ama. Magpasalamat tayo sa Panginoon. Nagpapatawad, nagbabago, nagpapagaling, gumagawa ng himala, nagbe-bless ang Panginoon. Totoo, tatanggap ka ng uh, maraming salapi, anak buhay, negosyo na nakatalaga ka riyan eh. Sasakyan, gamit, tirahan, kontrata. Yung mga naligaw, nalihis ang landas, nagbabalik loob na at pagbabalik loob na sa Panginoon. Yes, truly. Member of family, being astrayed from the will of God, returning to God. And the Lord is making a way to bless us in different areas and aspects of our lives. Yes, Lord. And we, we declare by the God, All our islands that was stolen by the Chinese government, you will return it to us, O God, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. You will remove coronavirus here in the Philippines, God, in Jesus' name, the Son of the living God. You will prosper and save our nation. The Philippines have a destiny in Jesus Christ. The Philippines is a kingdom of Jesus. Frontliners will be healed in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Yes, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Panginoon, hindi po sakit, hindi po coronavirus ang mananatili sa Pilipinas, kundi kalakasan, kalusugan, kaginawaan, kasaganaan, pakatagumpayan, sapagkat ang Pilipinas ay kaharian mo at gaganap sa iyong kalooban hanggang sa huling hininga ng aming mga buhay. We declare that the Son, Visayas, and Mindanao, and the Philippines, and the nations of the world are all kingdom of Jesus. and will fulfill our high calling and perfect destiny in Christ. Do thy will till the last breath of our lives. Salamat po, Ama, ng marami sa pangalan ni Kristo Jesus. Amen.
Kung may tanong, may counseling, gustong dumalo, gustong at ibigay ang ikapot handog, ang parsprus, ang lab gifts, eh, mag-PM lang dito. Kumontak. 0998-989-2963 Connect, contact Send your tithes, offerings, and personal and love gifts Here PM here So many ways To receive Your blessings as you give. And glory to God. Hallelujah. And uh, if you want to attend, so do attend. Contact, connect. PM here. And if you have a question, prayer request, counseling, or testimony. Testimony of your healing and miracle and uh, what good thing the Lord has done to you. As you attend our services, as you listen and uh, watch our programs, our live streaming. So, do testify. Send uh, your good testimony. If, if, don't be afraid. Don't be in hesitation. If you need counseling, prayer request. Dami-dami ko nang naipag-pray na may COVID. Pinagaling ng Panginoon. Ilang batchmate ko na, ilang classmate ko na. ang pinagaling sa COVID. Ang dami-dami na, ang dami-dami na eh. Kaya kung may mga classmate ako, batchmate ako, na sinesend ko to sa group natin, eh, hindi ko na iisa-isahin kung ilang classmate at batchmate ko ang napagaling na ng Panginoon ang pinagpuray ko sa COVID. So many batchmates and classmates called me, messaged me, contacted me because they are suffering from coronavirus. Their loved ones are in trouble. They have problems. And the Lord held them all. Give them victory. And not only that, many viewers and many listeners, many brethren, nakikinig pa po ba tayo? Kaya lahat po ng mga nangangailangan, wag po kayong matakot. Kumontak po kayo. Kaya sa lahat po ng mga iglesyang gaya-gaya kayo, gaya-gaya kayong magtayo, Gaya-gaya kayong pinaggagaya nyo kami. Huwag na kayong gaya-gaya. Sabihin na lang ninyo, sumama, tumulong. Dito na lang. Huwag na gaya-gaya. Gaya-gaya po, tumaya. Huwag na po. Tatayo kami rito, bibili kami ng ganito, magkakaroon kami ng ganito. Ay nako, impyerno lang punta ninyo. Iikli lang buhay ninyo. <laughs> Hindi kayo giginawa, I tell you. Naunawaan po natin. So join us. Submit. Be a part. Oh, may isang kapatid, sabi niya, sensya na po, hindi nakakapagdala, dumaan ng pagsubok. Eh talagang dadaan ka ng pagsubok, hindi kasi nagpapadala, hindi ka nagbibigay. Yung mga pangako mo, hindi mo sinusunod eh. Pagkatapos ng matinding karamdaman mo at di ka pa nakasunod, tepo ka na. Tandaan mo. Kaya kinakailan, sumunod ka na. Nananakot ka lingkod ng Diyos. Oh, guwapo, guwapo nito, mananakot. Oh, hindi ah. <laughs> Sinasabi ko lang sa iyo, ang totoo. <laughs> sa dumalo sa Kingdom of Jesus Fellowship, ipanalangin, ipag-ayuno ako at ang pamilya ko at ang Kingdom of Jesus Fellowship. Lahat ng talento mo, ipaglingkod mo rito. Ibigay ang ikapot, handog, love keep mo dito. Huwag niyo kung kanikanino riyan. Walang preba yan. Nag-backslide dyan. Wala pang, di ba? Hmm, di ba? Nunuwaan <laughs> mo, ito proven eh 33 years in the full time ministry Oh my God lang eh. Ilan taong ka na din ko ng Diyos? 35 <laughs> Nunuwaan po ba natin? Patuloy nating suportahan yung ating radio, yung ating television Palakasin pa, paramihin pa Bili natin lahat ng mga pangangailangan ng, 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 ng iglesia Huwag na huwag kayong magpapatupad at gagawa mga chapters and outreaches mga pastor at pastor, mga leader, mga full time na hindi nyo sinangguni sa taas you are only inviting the wrath of God connect Luzon, Visayas and Mindanao Luzon 
Kasama po ang Bicol dyan. <laughs> Palawan is part of Luzon. Palawan, hindi po yan Bisaya. Hindi po Mindanao yan. Luzon po yan. Luzon, Bisayas, and Mindanao. Including Capiz. Ang lugar ng mga karilyo. So, puri ng pangalan ng Panginoon. Pansamantala lamang po, mga minamahal. Salamat sa pakikinig, pananalangin, pag-ayuno. Salamat sa pagsuporta. Yan ay blessing mo at ng pamilya mo. As you receive the true man of God and the true ministry of God, as you give your tithes, offering first fruits, and the love gifts, as you pray and pass and support the true man of God and the ministry of the true man of God, it is a blessing for you. God bless the Philippines and God bless the nations of the world. God bless you and God bless us. Amen. And God bless us more. Thank you, Lord.